Climate change has caused a poor rain distribution, and this has led to plant diseases. The weather is warmer. This, as well as the high humidity, has caused the appearance of rust. That's what Stevens say at plantations here in Acatenango. We have 40% of the affected plantations. This is a dramatic example of how climate change is affecting us. The harvest was six months late last year, and the coffee was cut just before it flowered, and that also affected us. We had to fulfill contracts that we had with clients, and we were waiting for the coffee to mature, but it never happened. You can see the small-scale producers and farms are stumping their plants to regenerate leaf tissue. What I'm hoping for personally is that the plants will sprout, and if the weather continues to be like this, the same crop will be affected again. So we have fallen into a cycle where we are investing, and it could be that we don't get good results. In the last three winters here, there have been a lot of landslides in all of Guatemala. This comes from Hurricane Stan. And if you're on a mountain looking at another mountain, you can see how the slopes of the mountains are cut off due to the landslides. And yes, there were people who lost their homes too. This is an issue that I consider critical. And here we go again with the poor distribution of rainfall. It can't be from anything else but climate change. In our reality, what's affecting us the most, and for the whole world, is rust. It's already caused a loss in the coffee crop. We've been looking for a Colombian or Castillo variety. We are looking for the seed, but we don't know where to find it yet. So it's a decision that requires a lot of information. What we do know is it doesn't give a very good cup, but we're not sure. So we have gotten involved in a cup of a lesser quality. But we're still going. Where are we going, despite the redundancy? Well, with especially coffee, you can manage your business and contracts. You work in fixed prices, you can run a business without risk. So we are trying to see how you can commercialize this variety. It's something we don't know how to do with this type of cup. When you try a cup of Bourbon or Tipica, if they're an improvement over Katawai, this is what the majority of specialists or tasters handle. What I do know is that, for example, the rust totally affected the Bourbonis and Tipicas, which are considered the varieties that give you the best cup. It's sought the most by the clients, and if you have just the Tipica or Bourbon, they pay you much better. It's part of the business. All of us are tied together, no? Producer, consumer. So shouldn't we make a fair wage, be more visible, have more information available to the consumer? I have seen with roaster clients that they have entered into, and it's trendy, direct trade, and I think it's something good for the economy. It's better to operate with a concept of associates. Associates where I'm going to supply you with coffee, but you also have to come and see the problems we're having in the production. 